Welcome to Mutajulu. Mutajulu is located 350 kilometres southwest of Alice Springs and is the Aboriginal community at Uluru. The tourist centre of Yulara is 20 minutes drive from Mutajulu. It services Uluru and provides an airport, accommodation, restaurants and many of the services tourists require. Mutajulu, Mutajulu community it's uh, about three kilometres away from the base of Uluru. Bidinera, Yangandera and Lurita people live here. Population from 300 to 450 at times. Muridula community is run by Muridula Aboriginal Corporation Incorporated, it's an Aboriginal body. Um, we also, in the community, we have a primary school and we have a daycare. We have to practice more primary health and it's going to be a challenge for any doctor to come out here. But you're welcome to come and learn. I have some of the best views in the whole of Australia. My backyard is all around. Come and live and work with us for a while. Come and learn. See what the real Australia is all about. We also need your help. My name's Janelle Trees. I'm the doctor at Mutajulu Community, at Mutajulu in the Northern Territory. I've been here nearly six months now. And I love living at Mutajulu and it's a great place to work. I came out to Mutajulu because I really felt strongly I wanted to be here. It's such a beautiful part of the world. Why wouldn't you want to live here? And I wanted to learn more about the Pirintiara and Nyanjajara cultures. I wanted to learn more about the traditional Aboriginal medicine they have out here was an opportunity to learn the language. Yeah, I mean, as an Aboriginal woman myself from the southeast of Australia, this is an opportunity to learn about Central Australian cultures and see what we have in common and see what's different. And we do have a lot in common and we also have a lot that's different and I really like that. I really enjoy practicing medicine out here. It's interesting every day. I'm learning every day. I really like working in Aboriginal medical services generally because I like to be part of a team and I like to have nurses and health workers and admin workers, all of us working together to look after the clients. I think it's important as a doctor to know that you've got other members in your team that you can rely on and that we've all got our strengths and weaknesses and when we bring our strengths together, the sum is more than, the whole is more than the sum of the parts, as they say. The emergency medicine aspect of it is a bit daunting, especially before you come, when you're not really sure what you're getting into. Once you're actually here and you know that you can just do what you can do to help people, it's very rewarding. And because you are part of a team and we've all got different kind of experience and different things that we're good at, we can work together as a team in that situation to help the person who needs your help. And let's face it, in a remote situation, if you're not there, they're going to be a lot worse off. So anything you can do is going to help. And I've also been very well supported with offers of training and... Um, weekends away. In fact, I've been away so much I'd like to stay at home a bit more because I really like being at home. Everybody knows that we've got chronic disease problems in Indigenous health and about 45% of the population here are on our chronic disease register and we bring them in for three monthly chronic disease checks and I've got a wonderful nurse who administers that and looks out for that. And one of the wonderful things about being able to stay in one place and being the doctor that stays here 
is that you can follow people up. So they didn't have a regular doctor here for quite a while and when the physicians visited they put people on lots of medications or they come out of hospital on lots of medications and there wasn't the follow-up to be able to try to reduce the medications to reduce polypharmacy or to see if they really still needed to be on that one that they've been on for 15 years. So a lot of what I can do is just a benefit from being able to be here and stay here so that if I take people off two of the three antihypertensives they're on and their blood pressure stays stable, that's a saving in pharmaceutical benefits money but most importantly it's a saving for the patient's health and they don't feel that they're carrying such a burden swallowing so many tablets. We get a lot of allied health support here. Today we've got the diabetes educator and the podiatrist here and our allied health team love to come and visit and to stay. So we have periodical visits and it's also because we have a sealed road to Alice Springs we can put people on the bush bus for investigations or in an emergency the RFDS, the Royal Flying Doctor Service or come and fly people out for us. There's always the DMO in Alice Springs. The district medical officer that you can call for support if you're out of your depth medically or you just need a bit of support. Yep. And yeah, it's an opportunity to live two kilometres away from one of the most amazing places in the world that most people only get to visit once in a lifetime if they're lucky. I get to go for walks there after work. How good is that? <laughs>